Well, let's take a look at the Harvester today. What is the Harvester? It is a crazy awesome tool which has been developed in Python. It comes with uh, the Kali Linux. That's what I am in right now. And you see here, this is a terminal. What does it help you with? Well, it helps you gather open source intelligence that is the OSINT on any company or domain. So you can basically run it across for, for any other company that you want and you can fetch information from that company. And what is the information that you can fetch from that company? Well, let me tell you what. You can fetch the subdomains, the emails, the open ports, the employee names, the banners, and a lot of information that you can fetch that is available for that company publicly. So it helps you in the reconnaissance phase when you're trying to do your pen testing or you know the ethical hacking right i'm going to show you how to run the command and um, if it's not there if you're in a distribution of linux that uh, you don't find the harvester in i'll tell you how to install it for for those of you who haven't watched my video on how to uh, install the kali linux in the virtual box this would be the best time to go ahead and do that because this is what i'm doing in kali linux all right so let's jump right into it i'm going to show you the website first let's check that out all right, so this is the website um, I'm on right now, Kali.org uh, and the Harvester, um, the Harvester homepage. This is the one I'm interested in, or you can also check out the source code repository as well. Okay, now the command is, uh, it looks something like this, but we don't use the lowercase h, we'll use the uppercase h. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that as well. The, uh, just to give you a small um, piece of information on that, uh, when you talk about the lowercase h, that is deprecated. So I'm going to open up the first link that I talked about, the Harvester homepage. All right, here you see the files and everything. This is github.com. And I'm talking about the Harvester. As you can see, um, as I mentioned, it is the uppercase h, the lowercase h thingy is deprecated now. Anyways, now the point is the Harvester is a simple to use yet powerful tool, blah, 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 used during the reconnaissance stage for pen testing, right? Uh, open source uh, OSINT, as I informed you before, it helps you um, gather information about names, emails, IP, subdomains, URLs, blah, blah, blah. What are the sources that the Harvester used to fetch this information? Well. It's the Anubis, it's this one, Baidu, and so on, and all of uh, all of these. Well, you can actually summon the information from all of these sources or just call them one by one. I'm going to show you how to do it using um, of the command of the Harvester. If you open up the source code repository now, I'm going to show that to you, and you'll find a similar information in here. This is GitLab, Kali Linux, packages the Harvester. Ah, it tells you the same thing. It performs OSINT and it helps you gather names, email addresses, and so on. Anubis is the source, or um, Be Vigil is the source, Baidu, and so on. All of these sources you can use. Uh, apart from that, it also tells you about the prerequisites that are required for this. If you scroll down, it says uh, install and dependencies Python 3.0. Uh, one zero plus and um, well this is uh, the uh, github repository for this for installation you can use this link well you can use a command to directly call um, uh, stuff from there anyways the point is that you have kali linux uh, pre-installed um, uh, with um, the uh, the harvester so you don't have to worry about any of that so let's jump right into the terminal and let's see what we can do next with the harvester Okay, I've cleared the screen. Let me just go ahead and show you how the command works. So I'm going to say the harvester, uh, not the complete thing, no. The harvester, I'm going to say hyphen H is to get help. So basically, it gives you all the options that are supported with the harvester right here, right? And uh, if I go ahead and run the harvester with the hyphen D, for example, I'll go with uh, Kali.org. This is the uh, one used um, in the example in the Kali uh, Linux website as well. So I'm going to use um, Anubis because sometimes I don't get results from um, from Baidu um, due to some SSL problems, right? So as soon as I executed this, these are the amount of results I got. I got hosts found 60. If I run the same command on, for example, Microsoft, um, 
Microsoft.com, you'll find that I get, I'll get thousands of results. Um, Microsoft.com, if I run it, um, using the source as Anibis. So with the hyphen B, you mentioned the source from where you want to fetch the information. I can use DuckDuckGo as well. Hyphen D, you mentioned the domain that you want to fetch the information uh, of, for, right? So for and from, okay? Right, so let's just wait for it. I'm gonna pause the video for now because I'm not sure how long it is gonna take. Um, so yeah, I'll just resume the video as soon as it's done. Look at the output we got right there. So it's all Microsoft.com. This is the host um, host information. These are the hosts associated with Microsoft.com. If I show you right here, 7421, that's the amount of hosts we got. Right. Okay. So um, let me just go ahead and clear it out, and uh, and let's see if I'm able to use DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. Well, this is something I use uh, a lot. I prefer DuckDuckGo over, you know, uh, what's commonly used among users. I do use Google as well, and it's not like it's the end of the day, but yeah. That's pretty much it. It was able to fetch 34 results for me. So let's say different um, search engines, different sources fetch different information, right? And let's say you want to go for everything. You can go ahead and do hyphen B all. You hit enter. It's going to give you everything. It's going to try everything. So you may see a lot of errors here, right? Okay. Someone's calling me. I got to take it first. So we got a huge output, and uh, this is the command we executed, right? So we tried all the sources and uh, the domain Microsoft.com, and uh, you see the results, right? And uh, if I I just checked it, um, it shows 21,000 hosts and um, I don't know a few hundred IP addresses or something, right? So if I scroll up to the top and show you this part right here, yeah. So IPs found 165. So LinkedIn uh, links found a zero. It does give you um, some crazy level of information that you know, it's going to help you a lot in 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 your pen testing or ethical hacking phase. So you got the host 21,759. A lot of information out there, right? I wanted to talk about another um, a tool. Uh, which is the sublister, but I'm possibly going to talk about the sublister in a separate video. And just to show you the small piece before we wrap up, if you run this command, the harvester with a small h, a lowercase h, it'll say it's deprecated, as you can see right here. And please use uh, the harvester instead. And also, I wanted to show you the output of uh, the help command if I run this command. Like this, you'll find the sources that are mentioned here. It also mentions a sublister in here as well. Also, finally, when you want to go ahead, let's say you're not in Kali Linux, you don't have the harvester. What do you do in that case? Well, basically, you'll have to uh, clone it uh, from a Git. So, okay, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put uh, the uh, steps. There are just three steps in there. Um, how you have to execute it, how to get it running. I'll put that in the description or in my first comment. Um, I'll pin it uh, to this uh, video, right? So, yeah, thanks uh, for watching. Those of you who are new, uh, support the channel by subscribing and sharing. You have a great day ahead. Goodbye.